assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss lab 1 in the subject of computer organization and assembly language to run any assembly program we need microsoft macro assembler microsoft macro assembler is an x86 assembler for microsoft windows that uses the intel syntax assembly language is a great tool to understand how a computer works and with the help of mesm you will be able to assemble and run your program written in assembly language we can use number of tools to run assembly programs like mesm nasm tasm or we can use visual studio to run assembly language program you can write assembly language program in any text editor that is notepad however you have to make sure that you have save your programs with an extension of asm that is if you are if you name your file example then it should be saved by going to save as and then typing example.asm in the file name and selecting all files in the file type once you have installed mesm on your pc and written your problem or program that you have to assemble and link your program before they can be executed let's discuss assemble link execute cycle the process of editing assembling linking and executing assembly language program is summarized in figure below as we can see in step 1 you need to write your source for file that is your source code you can use any editor of your choice like notepad visual code or notepad plus plus once you have written your program in source file then you need to name it with .asm extension step 2 to assembler the assembler file that is ml.exe reads the source file and produces an object file a machine language translation of the program optionally it produces a listing file if any error occurs the programmer must return to step 1 and fix the program in step 3 the linker file link32.exe reads the object file and checks to see if the program contains any calls to procedure in a link library the linker copies any required procedures from the link library combines them with the object file and produces the executable file optionally the linker can produce a map file in the step 4 the operating system loader utility reads the executable file into memory and branches the cpu to the program is programs starting address and the program begin to execute this figure explains the steps required to run an assembly program in step 1 you need a text editor to write your program code in step 2 assembler produces object file and listing file and in step 3 linker it will link any procedure you have called from any library in our case it may be irvin and it will produce a, a map file and it will cre create an executable file operating system will load the executable file into main memory and it will show the output at the end the useful file generated are as follows example.obj example.list and example.exe example.exe is the executable file that can now be run by typing example on the dos prompt 
and pressing enter. If you want to use Microsoft Macro Assembler, then you need to follow these instructions to run your code in Microsoft Macro Assembler environment. On the other hand, you can use any visual tool to run your program. CPU registers have great importance in any assembly programs. Registers are special memory locations on the CPU. One important difference between older and later processor is that the pre-386 processors are 16 bit instead of 32 bit. There are 8 32 bit general purpose registers. The first four EAX, EBX, ECX and EDX can also be accessed using 16 or 8 bit names. Dot AX gets the first 16 bits of EAX, AL gets the first 8 bits and AH gets bits 9 to 16. The figure below show all the general purpose registers and special purpose registers. These are the 8 general purpose registers and 16 bit segment registers CSS, SS, DS and these are two registers which are E-flex and EIP. E-flex register show the status of the CPU and EIP register hold the address of the next instruction. A 16-bit register which is AX part if we look into this figure, we can see that EA, uh, EAX register is 32 bit. The lower part of EAX register, that is 16 bit, is called AX. AX can be used to hold 16 bit data, and AX can also further divide it into AH and AL. AH and AL both can store 8 bit of data. Let's see an example program that is add two registers example. These commands are given after the semicolon on a line. Semicolon is treated as comment in any assembly language program. This program adds 32 bit unsigned values, integers and stores the sum in the ECX registers. To call built-in procedures we need to include irvin32.inc which is a library where all these uh, functions those are we uh, those we are using in this program are pre-written like dump registers this function displays the result on the screen by displaying all register values. This function is written in this erwin32.inc and we can use it by typing call keyword and this call keyword will use dump register function and it will link the functionality of this function with this program. In the move statement, the first statement of this program move EAX30. Here EX is de destination and 30 is the source. We are moving 30 value into EX register. Assembly language is not case sensitive. We can write our instruction in lower case in uppercase or we can use mix of upper and lower cases. In the next instruction we are moving 20 in EBX registers and third instruction is add which is adding 30 and 20. 
30 and 20 are now stored in ECX. and ex actually we are adding value of ex into ecx and then we are adding value of ebx into ecx ecx already hold the value of 20 that is why the result of this ecx register would be 50